Hey, hello, Engine Doc back with you. <clears throat> Got another engine for us to look at today. Got a Luther. Four horse. Oil filled engine. Get a shot of the tag here. Luther came along after the Myrick engine. This is uh, about the same as the Myrick Eclipse. It's a hot tube engine. Ran on uh, the gas, uh, producer gas, out in the oil field. Set up to run on propane. <clears throat> It was uh, quite dirty when I got it. I have cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, power washed it. And I have had it running. Uh, it does not run well yet. It has a few issues. But it's uh, what I do. I get it running as good as possible. air intake here diamond valve for metering the gas to the engine this is the main regulator this is the hot tube burner going into the hot tube the flywheels uh, have a lot of nice uh, original machine marks on them. The engine has not spent a lot of time out in the, in the weather. It's not corroded hardly at all. <clears throat> Even the, the hot parts up here that, that get corroded pretty quickly are, are really in exceptional good shape. Now when I bought it I was told that uh, <clears throat> on a windy day the hot tube will blow out, flame will blow out in it. And it was set up like this. Um, this is just a, a pipe fitting. And uh, I was told this was all original but I don't believe that it is. I believe this has been added. Uh, I think this valve is original, the controls it, and, and plumbing here is original. Uh, but uh, this air mixer is not original. I'm going to uh, remake the the orifice in here, and I'm going to make a damper that I can control the air. Uh, because when you go to uh, after you start it, you want to turn the gas down a little bit on the hot tube and run the hot tube at a little lower temperature. Uh, and when you uh, when you try to lean down the fuel mixture here, of course it's getting too much air in here and it'll pop back and burn at the orifice and eventually go out and uh, so that's going to get changed. I've got uh, plans to build an a air metering device for this and a, a new orifice and uh, make it a little more reliable on the tube. Uh, the other things I've noticed since I, or after I got it running was uh, this spring needs a little bit of adjustment. It leaks gas just a little bit and if you're not careful and not watching it'll catch fire right here. Because <clears throat> uh, it's leaking a little bit of fuel, especially if you leave the valve on. And you're sitting there letting it warm up uh, on a tube. Uh, some gas blows up around a tube and uh, whoop, you know, she takes off. But, so this valve needs lapped intake valve needs lapped on it and uh, uh, the rod needs to be shimmed up it's got a little noisy on the on the rod uh, on the crank throw uh, this uh, regulator is actually upside down there's actually an atmospheric hole here uh, 
and uh, you know to be out in the weather you sure, certainly don't want that atmospheric hole facing up where it can get water down in there so that uh, regulator will be eventually turned back upside down uh, back actually right side up so I gotta change that uh, the exhaust uh, it had some funky exhaust on it I have gotten this pipe loose and uh, it had a, uh, a real long skinny piece of copper pipe stood about three feet tall uh, up here and uh, I didn't care for the appearance of that so took that off and, and I'm going to build a, a different exhaust system for it. Uh, other than that the engine is in excellent condition it's on a nice little set of homemade trucks uh, some oak wood and uh, kind of like that uh, it's not steerable but however it's uh, you can roll it and it makes it nice to to kind of roll it around uh, the shop and up on the trailer and so forth. So, anyway, that's the initial overview of the Luther. And next time, uh, maybe we'll get some footage of it running, and uh, I'll show you the the changes I make uh, to the plumbing and and the gas valve and the orifice tube and so on and so forth. So, more to come. Stay tuned.